What will happen if we connect a bulb to a battery? It glows. If we rub a comb and take it near the piece of small paper, what will happen? It attracts. On a stormy day, you must have seen lightning in the sky. Yes, we are talking about electricity. Electricity is all around us. We cannot think of living without it in the modern world. But what is electricity? We'll explore more and try to find answers to the basic question raised here. You must have heard about pyramids of Egypt. Very long ago, Egyptians came across this magical fish. They used to get shock if they touched it. They thought it was magic. They even used the fish to cure headaches. They did not know that these were electric fish. Amber is fossilized tree resin which has been appreciated for its color and natural beauty for ages. Amber is used in jewelry. Ancient Greeks discovered that if they rub certain objects like amber with cat's fur, amber gets this magical property. It can attract feather which is lighter than amber. They were curious about these forces. Amber means electron in Greek. So, we humans decided that there is some mysterious force which exists. We called it as electric charge. Electric charge is the building block of this electricity. Let us take a comb and rub it against the hair. What will happen if we take the same comb near the pieces of paper? Comb will attract these small pieces of paper. What action made it attract paper bits? When we brushed the comb, something must have happened and it became charged. Aluminum foil is used as a food wrapper. Let us take this aluminum foil. If we cut it in half and we keep on doing so, how many times we can do it manually? Maybe 10 to 15 times. If we used advanced techniques, we will finally reach to a stage when we will not be able to cut it anymore. This last tiny, tiny, tiny bit of foil which cannot be cut anymore can be called as an atom. Something which cannot be divided further. Atom is a collection of charged particles. Atom consists of a heavy central nucleus surrounded by a cloud of negatively charged particles called electrons. The nucleus contains positive particles protons and electrically neutral particles neutrons. As the number of positively charged protons and negatively charged electrons is same in an atom, they are electrically neutral. This is also true for metals like gold and silver. A molecule is an electrically neutral group of two or more atoms held together. Oxygen molecule is made up of two oxygen atoms. Water molecule is made up of two hydrogen atoms and a single oxygen atom. All objects are made up of unique atoms or molecules like this. All the objects are charged objects. There are two types of charges, positive charge and negative charge. A positive and negative charge do not really mean anything. Benjamin Franklin was the one who gave this name to the charges. He found that these two types of charges behave differently. They behave exactly opposite. He could have called them black and white or up and down, maybe. But then he finally settled down to using the words like positive and negative charges. These charges behave differently when they are near each other. Like charges repel, unlike charges attract. This is very important. Now you will ask if all the objects around us are charged, then why don't these objects attract or repel each other? Most of these objects have equal number of charges. The charges are always balanced. So the net effect is that they are neutral. We can say that they are neutrally charged. These objects neither attract nor repel each other. 
for objects to get charged some action needs to happen somehow we have to add or remove charge from these neutral objects if we take this pipe near the dry leaf negative charges on the pipe repel negative charges on the dry leaf this means we have positive charge on the leaf and negative charge on the pipe as opposite charges attract each other the leaf is attracted by charge pipe we can visualize interaction between positive and negative charges with the help of phet that is fet simulation woolen sweater balloon and wall all are charged objects but they are neutral they have same number of positive charge and negative charge if we take a balloon and rub it against the sweater balloon acquires some negative charge from the sweater now balloon has more negative charge than the sweater when the balloon is taken near the sweater there is an attraction between balloon and sweater here is the wall it's neutral it has same number of positive and negative charge what will happen if we take a balloon near the wall as a balloon is negatively charged it repels the negative charges of the wall to the other end now balloon with negative charges are attracted by the positive charges on its side what will happen if two balloons are rubbed against the sweater and then brought together try this yourself using the simulation you can use materials like plastic silk cloth paper dry leaves around you and perform this activity for yourself summary now we have discussed about electric charges let's recall it one more time electric charge is the building block of electricity there are two types of charges positive charge and negative charge like charges repel each other and unlike charges attract each other 